Dr. Chris Yeager here with ISO Baseball. You can reach us at isobaseball.com. Dr. Chris Yeager here with ISO Baseball. I'd like for you to study this video on rotation. And after you've got a good grasp of it, um, I'd like for you to walk in to your hitting instructor and ask him to explain to you what causes the pelvis to rotate? What causes pelvic rotation in the high level hitter swing? Or maybe, you know, to put it in his terms, what makes the hips rotate? Okay? And if he doesn't give you the answer that you come to uh, after studying this video, then you need to turn around and walk out. Over the past 12 years, I've witnessed a nationwide epidemic occur with regard to batting instruction. I call it baseball's rotational hysteria. And it's been caused by basically two factors. First of all, coaches not understanding what creates rotation in the batter, specifically what rotates the pelvis or the hips. And secondly, coaches lack of understanding of the point and purpose of the stride. Most coaches can't seem to take the, the common sense application from throwing that the step allows you to increase the amount of energy and momentum that you put into your throw uh, and then apply that to hitting, that the stride is also allows you to load and unload the back leg. It's an energy creator. They have problems with timing it, uh, and so instead of working with it, they tend to just eliminate it or get it over with early, get the foot down early which is going to greatly reduce the effectiveness uh, of the stride or what I like to say uh, the footwork. And I've, I've seen this mentality actually kind of work its way up uh, from the little leagues uh, up through college and actually into the professional ranks now to where uh, you start to see guys um, trying to power all of their rotation simply by spinning their back leg or their back foot and uh, you know trying to stay on the, on their backside and and th this is a very typical uh, example of it. this is this happens to be a youth hitter um, and again it's it's very difficult to, to even find professional hitters uh, you know with their weight back here matter of fact from the major leagues I've only I've only been able to find one uh, with this degree of, of weight on the backside and that was Kyle Blanks who who didn't stay up very long um, but this is typically what it what it looks like this new method of, of instruction to where you're going to create rotation basically by by spinning the back foot originally it was called bug squish um, a lot of the coaches get away from that because it sounds so uh, you know elementary but this is you know really really the same thing it tends to be if you look at the stride foot the stride foot gets down early and doesn't involve really a a shift off of the back side and, and we'll show some some high level strides here here in a bit uh, you know, a normal stride involves a, a load and unload of the back leg. Here, here he takes a, an abbreviated step, you know, gets it down early that you like to hear. The foot is down early. But the, the, the key that I want you to look at, and, and, and again, this is what a lot of people are being taught, is that we're going to rotate our body. We're going to create rotation just by spinning our back foot or spinning our back leg. And we tend to get a, a jackknife type body position like this. But, you know, this is it. With regard to the lower half, this is what's being taught. Get the foot down early, you know, and then you're going to drive rotation by basically spinning the back foot, spinning the back leg, whatever you want to say, um, to create hip rotation. Most often, the hitters are taught to keep weight on the back foot. Sometimes you, I've seen some instructors that, you know, because they see video of guys off their backside, you know, they're almost asking them just to simply, you know, just spin their back foot but lift it. But regardless, the spinning of the back leg is not what is rotating the pelvis or rotating the rest of the body. And this is this is the prevalent, you know, way people are coaching hitting right now. We're gonna we're gonna rotate by just spinning our back foot or our back leg. And so when you take this kind of footwork uh, and compare it to what a what a professional uh, hitter does, uh, we see very different very different actions. Again, you know, throughout history, 
the stride has been a very simple thing. When you pick up your foot, your back leg is loaded, and then that back leg is going to press weight and energy uh, into and against the front side, very similar to the way you throw. Um, and then when the way we get hip rotation is, again, this leg is working against the ground, and it opens the pelvis from the front. Okay, so we create a shift to the front side that gives energy to the front leg. That leg works against the ground, gives us a ground reaction force, and that force helps us to open the hips from the front. Okay, you can see, you know, our professional hitters' back foot is unweighted at this point. Okay, well before contact and through contact, there's absolutely no weight on his front side. Okay, yet he stays in this leveraged position you know a more tilted position we get this nice clean line here uh, as opposed to our spinner over here who's trying to rotate by you know spinning his back foot we tend to get this jackknife position across the board really uh, when I get a bug squisher in there they're always going to uh, really have that vertical torso um, when I get a, a, a someone went in with proper uh, proper footwork uh, usually we'll get this type of leverage position through contact. So we drive off of the back and hit leveraged uh, against and behind the front side. And so by, by understanding that rotation isn't caused by spinning your feet or spinning your legs, you know, the batter shouldn't concern himself with turning any more than he does when he makes a throw. When we make a throw, we drive in a straight line at our target. Okay, the back leg should press in a straight line towards the oncoming pitch. Okay, just a lateral sideways press, very similar to the way we do when we throw. Okay, that's going to give this front leg energy. Okay, the front leg works against the ground. That gives us that ground reaction force that is going to open the pelvis from the front. And then just simply by that front leg working against the ground to open the pelvis from the front, the hips begin to pull the torso around. Now, as the pelvis opens, you know, of course, the, the musculature of the torso begin to kind of, you know, grip the pelvis and then, uh, you know, take that energy and momentum and, and, and use the musculature to add to that. But it's very important that, that, that uh, those torso muscles don't start to work too soon. We want to let this footwork go first, allow the front leg to work against the ground. That's going to get the hips out in front, give us that X-factor stretch. Then it's going to begin to tug uh, on the torso, and then the torso muscles come into play. Okay, but look at the feet at this point. You know, the hips have already begun to open, and we've still got feet you know pointing this way he hasn't tried to turn his feet to open up look at the difference here okay now again as we open from the front the back side is going to kind of be pulled uh, forward and upwards and open then that back foot's going to come around then the leg will rotate as it's weightless okay but this this is nonsense in terms of biomechanically uh, creating rotation so we, we don't want to try to think about spinning. Really, we want to try, you know, we want to try to stay square here. Look how, how he has flown open. His whole body has flown open. Just because he's trying to think about turning his foot, he gets no separation with his hips. The body flies open. Here, our hitter has, has stayed square on the upper half. The hips have gotten out in front. The hands have stayed back. Okay? And that's, that's where we want to be in terms of creating pelvic rotation or creating rotation in general in the body is this lateral press against the front side okay working sideways to the ball that will give you more uh, more than enough rotation and again we want to feel like through contact uh, we're not spinning through contact we're funneling energy to the bat head creating whip effect uh, we're not spinning the shoulders uh, through contact